Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Time now is 644 on your Monday morning, waking up to that snow on the ground and even some of us seeing some fresh flakes this morning. Yeah, lingering snow showers will be possible basically all day long in the mountains, but a couple of them even in the lower elevations early today will make it to about the low 30s in the afternoon. Plenty of clouds around a light breeze out of the north and west. So not much melting to be done today with temperatures staying right around or below freezing. Most of the daylight hours tomorrow will be quiet, but I have to give you a big heads up. We have a major storm on the way Tuesday night into Wednesday. There are a lot of moving parts, so we'll try to break them all down as best we can. Wet snow will arrive Tuesday evening and that will switch to rain Wednesday morning. Now with that's combined with strong wind on the western mountain slopes and that's happening while the wet snow is falling. So you can envision why this is such a concerning situation. Wet snow weighing down tree limbs, very strong wind picking up. I think we're set for a lot of power outages by Wednesday morning. So a couple of actions you can take right now. Clear snow from drainage areas to prevent any localized street flooding or maybe flooding in your basement. And I would have a plan for prolonged outages. If you remember back to that storm, December 22nd, 2022, right before Christmas, we had that big wind storm around the region. This setup looks very similar to that. So if you lost power then, I think it's likely you'll lose power with this one too. Ellenberg, Malone, Santa Clara, North Elba, downslope winds off the Adirondacks. Those are the towns we are expecting the highest impacts for in the North Country. And right along the spine of the Green Mountains from Montgomery to Jericho, places like Richmond, Bristol, Starksboro, Middlebury, you know who you are. You need to have a plan in case you lose power tomorrow night. And that risk will continue into southern Vermont from Rutland all the way to Bennington. Less wind expected in the upper valley. There's also a minor flood threat with this system because we're expecting a half inch to one and a half inches of rain in southern Vermont. A couple of rivers may reach minor flood stage, but that is not the big headline with this event. It's going to be the wet snow followed by the strong wind in the mountains. So you see it come here on Futurecast late in the day Tuesday. It's going to be snowing very hard in the terrain early Tuesday night. And then as the switch happens to rain, that's when the wind starts to ramp up. So it's a very chaotic scene in the atmosphere. As we think about early Wednesday morning, just about everybody should be rain by that point. And we may catch a couple of lingering snow showers on the back end by Wednesday evening. Just a quick broad brush in terms of the snowfall impact. It's another four to eight inches along the spine of the greens. Parts of the high peaks of the Adirondacks could be looking at a foot of heavy wet snow and less snow expected in the immediate valleys. So it's alert weather for Wednesday. It's really Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then we'll be quiet again by Thursday, but I don't want you to let your guard down because it looks like another storm just like that one comes in for Saturday. So a lot to watch here in the next week. Back to you.